at here um, is, a, is a model developed by the, the good folks over at Climate Interactive and MIT Sloan School of Management. Um, this model uses uh, the best available science and synthesizes it. Um, it's got over 32,000 equations behind, running behind the scenes. They run in less than a second. Um, so we're going to be using this to help us get an understanding of what it's going to take to address this challenge um, and to take action. And at the heart of this, as you all know, um, these impacts that we're seeing, they stem from um, the increased levels of greenhouse gases that are in the atmosphere. Um, we're seeing unprecedented levels of carbon dioxide emissions, um, and this comes from sources like um, coal, oil, and gas burning, as well as things like deforestation. So on this control panel that you see here today, um, you can take action. And you'll see in front of you, you have guides to the control panel. That, um, that's kind of your map to what you're seeing up here. Um, those two things are parallel. Um, but on the left here, you see a graph of the uh, sources of energy. So each line there represents a different source of energy. Coal, uh, that darkest line at the top, oil in red, um, gas in blue, renewable energy in green, bioenergy in pink, uh, nuclear down there at the bottom, and then some new technology which doesn't exist yet, but we could perhaps plan um, that it arrives that could take off as well. On the right is our current trajectory in terms of temperature change. So here we are uh, in 2019, and we're at about one degree of warming, and we're already seeing these devastating impacts. What will the world be if we let it get to 4.2 degrees? Let's not go there. Um, so again, the graph on the right uh, goes from the year 2000 out to 2100. That big temperature number is the, uh, uh, is the estimated global average temperature change by the year 2100. Um, and we want to change that from 4.2 to well below 2 degrees and aim for 1.5 degrees um, as the, uh, the global agreement states.